who takes longer to get ready? I can already see the rivalry happening here. Everyone's like, mm. So whilst their significant others play the bounce on the field, they are playing the moment and grabbing life by the horns. From the other half is a look into the lives of the wives and girlfriends of your favorite Vodacom Bulls players as we get to know them just a little bit more. The ins, the outs, and everything in between. Anika, thank you so, so much for being a part of this and sharing a little bit about Anika today. How are you feeling? I'm good. And yourself? I'm feeling very good. <laughs> thank you for asking. Now, you grew up in the Malmesbury area in the Western Cape. Yes. And now you're living in the big city. So what are the adjustments or what are the things that you've had to change whilst moving to the big city? Are there even any of those things? I think the biggest thing for me is like, everything there's like a lot of everything around me okay so in mama street if you had to go like to a shop to a mall you have to drive like 40 minutes to go to the mall and you have to like plan the whole month's stuff that you must go buy so you know okay i must go to the shop i must go to the shop and mm -hmm. yes like oh i need to go to cotton on let's go quickly you can walk. Yeah, yeah i can go and then do you want to go to this mall or that mall do you want to so that's definitely been a big change so it's more like perks like yes, there's been like perks. great things but then again also something that i'm not used to is like locking my door the whole time so i remember when i went back home um, my brother just quickly went into the store mm -hmm. and he came back and he was like pulling on the door and it's like why would you lock the door and i was like because you must like you must lock your door he doesn't know no he, he doesn't get know. it he doesn't live in the big big city <laughs> no. where you know anything can happen yeah so that's a, been a big difference i must lock stuff up put yeah. stuff away so that's been a big difference be a little bit more focused yes. to like your surroundings and everything yeah. around you now do you have him help you with your content because i've seen you on social media you're on top of it you're making content creation work for you and it's also one of your careers yeah. so does embrose ever become the cameraman the lighting guy the sound guy how does it work so when i started out first he was like you had to do everything like and he also had a better phone than me so we had to use his phone okay so i was taking up all his space on his phone mm -hmm. and i would like make him just stand there and record so the same thing like, like with a dishwasher he then rather got the camera and a tripod makes to sense also help with that so now sometimes he must just compress the button for me but Ah, yeah, he fixed this. He made his own solution for that. One. He's an unpaid worker. Yeah. <laughs> is, is he ever going to be a paid worker? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Keep all the cash very much tucked into your pocket. So we know you're a content creator. We see your social media uh, goodies all over our pages. Then also an aspiring uh, chemical engineer. Yeah. But then, I literally have to read it off my list because there's so many. Then, a South African Latin dance champion. And then also, you were a Disney presenter, so a television presenter. Yeah. Is it fair to say that you have literally lived so many different lives in, you know, your young life and that you're not afraid of change? Yeah, definitely. I, I like trying out new things and like I'm the type of person, if I'm taking something on, I want to be the best in it or like reach the top level that you can. So like for the dancing, you start at like level one is sure. where you just dancing leotards and like the championship level is where you wear like the costumes. And like the shiny dresses. Yes. So I made sure like I want to get to it because I want to wear the sparkly dresses. So <laughs> that took me about like five, six years. Yeah. And then I reached the championship level when I was about grade 11. Mm -hmm. But that was also during the um, presenter thing. So now it was like things, I think that's my biggest thing. Like I take, all on, I take on all of these things and then they kind of like, they don't go together. But, so, but they can. They can. They it's can. just like my day is like, you know, one it's this, two it's this, three it's this. So, um, yeah, so I would go like after the dance. I did the dancing. I got that level. I was like, okay, cool. I did it. Bye. And then you're like, let's yeah. be a presenter for a little while. Yes, Why don't let's we? Try that out. But you speak of like it not necessarily going together. Yeah. But people could also say that, you know, you're content creating, you are an aspiring chemical engineer yeah. and he's a rugby player. That doesn't necessarily go together, yeah. but you're making it work. Yeah. What have been, you know, over your relationship period, what's the things that you learned from Ambrose in your relationship, you know, with him being an athlete? Yeah. Yeah. 
I think the main thing I learned from him was to, like, regardless of what you reach, because obviously he's done, like, amazing things. Yeah. Like, just stay the same person that you are. Like, that's the biggest thing he's taught me. Like, he still has all of his same friends and, like, he always goes back home. And I think that was, like, a very important lesson for me is to never, like, let your head get too big. You have two fur babies. Is it two or three? Three. In There's three. three. Are they also unpaid actors in the in all the TikToks and videos? <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to chat. I, maybe I need to be their agent, but it's a conversation for another day. You guys aren't clearly, clearly not afraid of responsibility with three pets. Did you adopt them together? What's their names? Like, I need to know everything about the pets. So we got three and we got all three of them together. The first right. one we got was a cat named Felix. Felix. So uh, he was our first baby that we got. Then we got Bailey, a little toy palm. And Gosh. then she got a bit lonely. So we got another toy palm named Blue to be a friend. Sure. Um, and I think responsibility wise, I must say like, you know, like our dogs only have problems during the night, like the whole day, they'll be fine. <laughs> they'll be chilled, yes. Yeah, and then during the night is whenever the weird things start happening. So you'll actually wake up and go sort them out, and I'll just be like, thanks. Because <laughs> that was what I was going to ask. Who is more of a parent? Like, who's the one doing most of the running around when it comes to the doggies? During, I think we have a good schedule. So it's like does, balance. Yeah, if anything happens at night, please don't ask me because I'm not going to do it. He <laughs> sorts out the night. During the day, I'll do all of this all stuff, of everything. And then sometimes I'll be like, okay, I can't deal with all the pee in the house anymore. And he'll take them up, clean it up. So I think we, um, we have a good balance okay. in that sense. And do you have a favorite pet? Of the three. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it a bad question? Yes, that's like deciding between your, your children. favorite kids. Yeah. I don't know. I just, you, you never know. I only have one doggy, so you. I, I think I'd also struggle if I had more than one. But obviously, no, he's my I, favorite. I can't pick. I, I definitely can't pick. You can't. No. can't. Anika, I think what's so special is that you're so inspiring at such a young age. And when I was reading up just on you, you know, I had to stalk you just a little bit. It's so important and what I've taken from your life story and everything you've told us today is that you can start again. You can choose to do something different. You can come back to that thing if you want to. So thank you so, so much for reminding even me at my age of that, you know, by looking at just your resume. Well done. So really, really honestly and truly well done. I think Emrose has got a beautiful rose and I think he knows that as well. And we're very, very proud of you. Oh, thank you so much. But we're going to play a game now. Okay. Just, just to end things off, you know, we're not going to end it on the oh my gosh moment. <laughs> we're going to end it on a little bit of a fun moment. I think we're going to get him in and then we're going to quiz him. Okay, Let's call him in. Embrose, welcome. I feel like we need to give you a crown or a like a golden uh means here. So it's a bowl of it because 10 years at the Bulls, what an achievement. And with season coming up now, um, I think it's so important that you know we note that the 10 years is here, but also find out from you if there are any nerves. Like, does it ever get any better? Fully so or are you just like, nah, I've done this 10 years? Like it's easy peasy. Ja, um, ek dink is super excited, um, is een groot eer vir my om hier by die bulle te wees. Mm. Um, ja, is nou al baie lang, maar ja, ek is super excited met al die nieuwe ouwens wat ingekom het. So die energy tussen allemaal is, is kruid, so ek is super excited, ja. Wie, wie is die stoutste op die, op die veld of, of, of at training? Who, who's the naughtiest? Nee, jyne is nou my... Gaan ek jou, gaan ek jou die moeilijkheid zet? Ja, jyne... <laughs> Okay, you can tell me the question off air, is that fine? You yeah. can tell me later. <laughs> Perfect. So we have you here now. Anika and I wanted to get you in to put you under pressure a little bit. We're going to play a quiz and we're going to see how well you know her because we know her fairly well. Now we've sat down with her, we asked her all the questions, but it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and we're going to jump straight into it. So the first one is, what is Anika's favorite TV show? Oh, that face, I see. Yo, that was him. Can I do it? You can? Ah, no. She's like, no, it's not true. Yes, the is verkeerd. Not the first Okay, I'm going to give you three, uh. two, one, and uh, half. 
korte. Kom nou. Ja. Oké, okay, reveal. Let's see. Oh, wow, Ben. Oh, Vampire Diaries. Ik ben Vampire Diaries. Ik kan het niet zien. Ik kan het niet zien. Ik kan het niet zien. Ik kan het niet Do you watch it every day? Every single day. Like, oh I do not gosh. miss it. Does he watch it with you? Yes. That's why I say, like, if he doesn't know this, and I don't know. <laughs> Does, do you think he enjoys it more than you do? Some Secretly. Days. Secretly. <laughs> Secretly. Secretly. Cool. We're going to go for another one. Well done. That's one point to you. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready? I can already see the rivalry happening here. Everyone's like, mm -hmm. okay, in three, two, one, reveal. Can you see? Can you see? Definitely. How does he? Who does he eat like that? for you, Clara, and sit the guy in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big no, no, no. Pratilians. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you I, so I, I also don't believe you in that one. I honestly feel like he throws on a t shirt, jeans, and then he hoys, and then. See. Oh, is he, is he doing yeah, the DKV? Yes, it takes so long. Do you have a GHD or Etsy? Okay, no, she's being. I think I think you just you were trying to get at him there, so that's unfortunately not a point for you guys. And then let me see which other one. Oh, what is the one thing that always makes Anika laugh? As you have grapias, so Biki. Like she, she told me you should, you definitely know this one. Okay, we're gonna give you five, four, three. I love how the speed writing comes out. Two, and reveal. Oh, where do you see? Wait, what? No, you have to explain. Yeah, you must know. So, I should explain. Um, gewoonlijk like, als ik Biki model in die is, of nou net Biki, en dan ja. Who me and you? Like, what are you? Are you doing a fashion show? Yeah, she's just a girl. Each model for. I feel like we need to see that on TikTok. It sounds just like recorded slightly. I don't think you have it. But let me record that. And then he also does like this wine singing thing that he does. It's it's not like normal. It's like an opera singer that he does. So whenever he does that, I can't help. But both of the stuff it sings that he does. It's the same. Ambrose, for a bonus point, for the Amazon phone seven, and it was nice. I said, please, I said, please, I will give you. I don't know what the Bright Rock team. Will, I don't know, like, maybe I can give you my. I don't know if they'll allow me to give you mine, but like, come, go, go. Ian Lane. It's not something you want. To Is it hear? not? Is it not? Okay, cool. I think that's where we're going to end everything. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining us today. Thank you for sharing a little bit of your lives with us. Now, we know that he's definitely not a singer, also not a model. Like, thank you, your piece is picky stuff. My ears must now a rugby player. 10 years, and congratulations on that as well. I think the face could do as the model, but then everything else, mm, it's a little bit. What do, what do you think? Biggie 50-50, eh? Yeah, Biggie not run away, but... Yeah, so. but definitely, like, smiley, smiley. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So whilst Ambrose is trying to steal my job as a model, for more content, you can go check out how your players play the bounce on brightrock.co.za.